re refuse to give up your freedom at all. By the way, when people are leaving, please do notice the stickers that are up there. Take stickers if you could use them. And also, there are still the buttons and pins and key rings and books in the back that you can buy. Uh, first off, I was going to uh, live blog this using my Exo Linux laptop, but the battery wasn't charged, so I had to but resort it's not to Linux, my it's the GNU operating, GNU GNU operating system. system. <laughs> so I, I had to resort to my uh, iPod, and you mentioned you wouldn't uh, accept one as a gift, and I, I did accept a jailbroken well, an iPod. I'm not completely sure because I don't think those are platforms for installing programs. Uh, you, yeah, you can uh, on the touch. You can install applications just like you can oh, on an well, iPad. Okay. Then I certainly wouldn't accept so, that. So I, I, had, I accepted a jailbroken iPad as a gift. Would you consider well, that as acceptable? Maybe? If you run it with free software and replacing Apple's operating system. Yeah, to some extent it's replaced. It's partially replaced. Well, so only partly. What, see, do you, what, do you, what do you do you for still self? You non-free software in there. Yeah. Now, there are two different issues here. One is, if something's a computer, I won't accept it if it has non-free software in its system or its applications. My computer has a, I chose this computer because even the BIOS is free. I have no free drivers, no, sorry, I have no proprietary drivers, no proprietary applications, no proprietary nothing. I wouldn't accept, uh, I wouldn't accept a jailbroken iBad because it still would have proprietary software in it. So it would still be uh, an ethical, a giant ethical step down from where I am now. And I wouldn't do that. But the second issue is, suppose something is not a computer. Its job doesn't include installing programs to run. It might, it might be built with a computer inside, but that doesn't directly concern the user. For those things, the question is, does it have malicious features? For instance, is it designed to restrict you or not? Now that is a meaningful question regardless of whether it's built with a computer. It could be built with a special purpose circuit and still designed to restrict you. you now, hardware and software can both have malicious features. So you always have to raise that question even if the device isn't a computer as such. So what do you do about a cell phone? Well, I don't have a cell phone <laughs> uh, because they all have malicious features. They're tracking and surveillance devices. Some cell phones are computers. Those are the so-called smartphones. They are platforms for installing software. Uh, so I wouldn't accept one of those unless it, uh, unless it was all free software. Uh, but even the cell phones that are not computers, that don't offer the possibility of installing any software, they're still <coughs> tracking devices. And they might be surveillance devices, too. Some cell phones can be turned on remotely in eavesdropping mode. They can listen to all the conversation around the user. It's not, not just what's said into the microphone. If it's in the room, it can transmit all the conversation uh, in the room. So it doesn't just have a bug. It is a bug. Yeah. And, and just so people... And it, I, I'm not going to carry around such a device. And I'm sure 20 years ago, if you were if people, if all of you who were old enough to care about this issue had been asked, would you want to carry a device that would always be telling some uh, big company where exactly you are and could be used to listen to conversation around you? You would have said, absolutely not. And yet most of you are doing exactly that. Well, not me. And, and just so you uh, people know that you're not being paranoid, there's a green politician in Germany who acquired his cell phone history recently, and you can go to a website and it has his daily travels and uh, motions uh, um, on an interactive map. There are viruses for some cell phones, and those viruses, some of them install eavesdropping software, so people with no particular official connection to the victim have been able to listen to their phone calls and to their conversations as well, even not carry, even when they're not making a phone call as far as they know. Thank you. 
Well, yes. How often do you take the battery out of your tracking device? You see, what did you say? Ah, well, I don't have one either. See, that's the real solution. You know what? Somebody can back there is listening to me and talk to you. Well, I don't mind if they hear me here. This is good. This is being recorded for publication. This is a public speech. Big Brothers men would be welcome to sit in the audience. Uh, this is not what all. This is not a model for all of life. 